This one, it rides, it dives, it floats, and it flies. Guess what it is? Charlie, it's the Sea Breacher. Oh, yeah, Interspace Productions, Redding, California, prepare to crank it up. Woo-hoo, yeah, Charlie, we're finally going to see the Sea Breacher. If it rides, glides, floats, or flies, or moves otherwise, human power or motorized, combustion or electrified, modified, specialized, one of a kind, customized, wheels, wings, jets, or slides, as long as it rides, sounds like something we want to see right here on Big Kenny's Crank It Up Garage TV. Today, the Crank It Up crew is pulling into Redding, California. I know that today we're pulling in to see a vehicle I've been waiting to see for a long time. Interspace Productions is riding its own wave with a truly unique aquabatic vehicle that operates like a plane, floats like a boat, and submerges like a submarine. And it's today's feature. So here comes the Sea Breacher. Yeah. What's up, Kenny? And there's Rob Ennis standing in front of us, man, the creator of this amazing vehicle. Well, let's roll into this shop and see what you got. Come on, man. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, you like that one? <laughs> this is beautiful. And there in front of us is this amazing Tiger Shark version of the Sea Breacher. This is a reverse tiger shark. So we've done lots of tiger sharks, you know, normally orange with black stripes, but this one, we decided to mix it up, black with orange stripes. Couldn't help but notice all the detail had just gone into the paint job on this bad boy. Yeah, we do a lot of crazy custom paint jobs. Got a really talented airbrush artist. It's like a custom hot rod shop around here. So everything's yeah. built to order. You know, no two boats are exactly the same. So obviously we take a lot of artistic license with these vehicles. They look like dolphins, sharks, and whales. And I guess a lot of it for me is an artistic representation. But at my core, I just like to try and do something different. Tiger cool, shark and a combination of that and a, and a fighter jet. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. In fact, so these canopies are actually molded off an F-22 fighter jet. Oh, the canopy, come to find out, was inspired by the F-22. I've been in a couple fighter jets, man. They're bad to the bone. And this vehicle sitting in front of me gave me that exact same feeling. Bad to the bone. So the boat shell, what's it made out of? Uh, it's fiberglass? All, yeah, hand laid fiberglass. Tough fiberglass, man. Got, a, got the, an outer hull, an inner hull, uh, filled with foam in between, so that it is very buoyant. And that tells me right off the bat, man, this thing is super safe, too. So I knew Charlie wouldn't be making any phone calls back to mama. I said, oh, no, Kenny, he went under and didn't come back out. You want to see inside one of these? Let's see it. Good. It just opens up like that. This is a two-seater. Well, look at that, Charlie. That's smooth as can be. Uh-huh, yeah. I'm more interested in what these uh, pedals and sticks do. Oh, we got a lot of pedals and a lot of sticks. So, okay. Uh, yeah, there's a lot to do. I mean, a regular yeah. boat just goes left and right. We, we're, we're running in three dimensions, so you have to basically, just like an airplane, you got to yeah. pitch, roll, and turn. You know, there's a couple of foot controls up front. Foot controls are just, you know, right, left, just you press on them, but you've also got toe down and heel down. You know, toe down, it's going to dive. Heel down, it's going to come back up. So left, right, dive, jump, roll, roll. There's controls all over the place. I am hope I'm going to be able to drive this thing today. Big Kenny, crank it up garage. Woo. How does this thing seal when you go in the water? Well, yeah, that's a good question, actually. It, um, so we use pneumatic aircraft seals. So once you close the canopy and latch it, we'll inflate these seals up to about 20 PSI, and that keeps it completely dry inside. So when you inflate it up to 20 PSI, then it completely puts that pressure up against the canopy and seals it in. 
And what we have up on top, that's a snorkel. So that that's about how deep this one can dive. Oh, wow. We have some that have snorkel extensions that'll dive about an extra three or four feet. But the reason this one is a bit different, we're going to take you out on it today, is this snorkel actually folds down into the engine bay. Okay. And what that allows you to do is a 360 degree bow roll. Nice. So, you know, mostly you don't want to capsize a boat, but this one you can deliberately capsize. Nice. So the snorkel brings air to the engine and to inside the cockpit when it's up. Exactly, yeah. And then you, you, you bring it back down to allow you to have a smooth surface to roll. Exactly, because before we had the retractable fin, we had a, a big rigid snorkel, and what would happen is you'd roll, and then that snorkel would hit the water and kick you right back up. So we had to basically engineer this complicated retractable snorkel mechanism in order to get it to roll. Wow. 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 Yeah. Let's see what that thrust looks like on the back. Yeah, you bet. Yeah. Mm. So another set of fins in the back, and I'm, I'm guessing these operate the same with the, the uh, yeah, so thruster. If you, if you look down here, right, so yeah. this jet unit moves with the fins. Yeah. So see how it moves up, up and, and down, down like up that? And down. Fins in the back are taking it down into the water, up out of the water. What type of engine? All right, so this one has the biggest engine that we offer, which is a 300 horsepower supercharged Rotax engine. It's only a 1.6 liter engine, three cylinder, but yeah, it's it's pretty pumped up. What else might you find that engine in? Oh, it's the same engine that they use in like sea doos like a yeah. personal watercraft. What started as a hobby really just evolved into what you see today. It's been a long road, but it's been a super exciting adventure. But it really is just trial and error engineering. The first one we built looked like a dolphin, and we, then we started building sharks and whales and all sorts of stuff. But the big difference is a dolphin and most marine creatures like fish and sharks, yes. they're pretty much neutrally buoyant, so they just, like, hover underwater. This is incredibly positively buoyant. Like, it's, it's a big, floaty cork, mm -hmm. so the only way you can get it underwater is to use the wings, like an airplane, and, and a lot of horsepower, and you literally force it underwater but what's cool about that is, yes, it takes a lot of horsepower to get under, but that's what allows us to shoot out of the water. Yeah. So between gravity <laughs> pulling us down and buoyancy pushing us up, we can have a lot of fun. You can jump Yeah, good. jump, roll, twist, lamb. I mean, the boats can take a lot of abuse, but my body, not so much, yeah. you know? Like, if you push it hard, you can really mess yourself up. How about a guy just sitting there one day saying, man, I want a vehicle that does just a little bit more than a boat or a jet ski. I, you know, I, I want to fly, but I want to feel like I'm flying underwater, man. I, and I want to be able to jump like a like a porpoise does out of the water, man. And I want to be able to dive just like that. And I want to be able to do all this crazy stuff that I've never seen a vehicle do before. How am I going to do that? Ta 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 ta! There you have it, man. The Sea Breacher. And now for a crank alicious moment. We know there are more crank alicious builds out there, and we want to see them. Go to crankituptv.com and send us a message. You never know, you might be featured on the next episode. And go to circleallaccess.com to watch more episodes. Me and Big Kenny will be right back and we'll see what this ride can do. Crank it up. We'll try pushing it a little bit today, see what you got. Yeah. See if you tap out. I'm, yeah. up, I'm up for that. You think yeah. you, can, you, think you can handle it? I think we're always ready I'm to go. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, we're always willing to Yeah, uh, I've seen you got, You guys do. have done some pretty extreme stuff, so yeah. I think it's yeah. right, right yeah. up your alley. Yeah. yeah, we were in a Typhoon last year, which is another uh, aquatic type vehicle. Um, but we're all on, you're on top of the water with that. Now, I'm telling you, man, the thing's very stable. It'll really scoot around. You can push it hard, jump with it, goes fast, turns on a dime, all that kind of cool stuff. But the movies that I've seen of this bad boy already, man, it, it goes to levels extreme that that, that didn't do. So, I mean, we're uh, loving it. Now, we'll have we're a good time. It. You want to fire it up? Yeah. Hear what it sounds Let's like? Let's hear what it sounds yeah. like. We'll give her a little crank up. Watch it. Might blow out some water. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, it's, got the power. <laughs> it's got the power. You think that'll do it? Awesome, yeah. 300 ponies. Being the guys of Crank It Up Garage, we like to see also, like, what's it take to build these things, man? So what kind of system have you got here? This is the rigging bay. This is where we actually assemble the boats once they're all painted. Um, and then this is our um, custom fabricated jet nozzle that allows us to do the vectored thrust up and yeah. down. That's what powers the 
vehicle through the water. Um, and then these are the pedals, which we'll go wow. over later. Um, so as you can see, you know, they move left and right. That's your steering. Yeah. But they also move up and down. Wow. And these combination of cables will move the elevators, the jet unit, the steering nozzle. So, you know, there's quite a lot of engineering that goes into just this component yeah. right here. Yeah, so you make this? Yeah, yeah, we make everything. Yeah, aside from the engine and the jet <laughs> unit, pretty yeah. much everything we, everything we hand fabricate. Fabricated here. Yeah. Rob, this, uh, this dolphin is beautiful. Absolutely a beautiful uh, common dolphin, and that's a, a beautiful tiger shark, but I, I think I'm at that place where I've seen enough uh -oh. of these. So Kenny is rearing and ready to go, and I won't lie, I'm ready to go too. And guess what? It's towel time. Charlie, I think it is time. Well, here we yes, go. brothers and sisters, it's time <laughs> to crank it up. Yeah, yeah. Everybody knows who you are Like Hendrix on a flaming guitar Congratulations, congratulations You're a rock star Really got some swagger in your repertoire Now you're a crank it up star Everybody knows who you are Like Hendrix on a flaming guitar Congratulations, congratulations You're a rock star all right, what do you think, Kenny? That was awesome. Good thing I got up this morning and did some stretching because I didn't know the position that I was going to be assuming. I was so excited to get in and take a ride, I really didn't care. And as long as I could fit in, I was good to go, man. I was just happy to be there. So I hopped in the back, got in, got strapped in, you know, full-on safety harness and everything. Felt good. I was comfortable. Next thing you know, Rob's like, are you ready to go? You ready back then? Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah, man, let's go. Takes off. Boom. Gets it up, man, planing on top of the water. He's cruising around. Next thing you know, he's like, are you ready? Can I dive? You good? Yeah, man, let's do it. Woo. Underwater, and it wasn't just like underwater and then pop right away. No, he's underwater, and we're like, next thing I know, that water's coming up over top of that canopy and the glass, and it was beautiful. It was just awesome. I don't know how else to describe it other than I'd never experienced anything like that before, and it was just, it was insane, man. And we're under here, and he's like cruising around for a while, man. This is like, tell you, I'm like, we're cruising right underneath the water. We're down, you can kind of see it. The water's kind of clear there you know, in Shasta right now, but, and then, boom, up out of the water, and whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> oh, boom, oh, back down. Just awesome and exciting. He says, okay, now I'm gonna jump it again goes down and comes back out again. He says, now I'm gonna porpoise it. Next thing you know, he's jumping, he's diving, he's jumping, he's diving. And then he's like, just drinking, making hard turns left, hard turns right. I mean, his ability to operate this vehicle was bar none. I'm just thinking to myself, man, I hope I can do just a little bit of this. But he says, okay, man, how about a barrel roll? You ready for a barrel roll? They don't call me Big Kenny for nothing. Let's go. Whew, boy. Shoot. Barrel rolled all the way around, man. It's just awesome. Came back up, and he's like, man, let me see how high I can get this thing out of the ground. I know he was just like showing it, man. Boom. Down, cruising. Whew. We're underwater. We're underwater. We're underwater. It's like 10 seconds, and we're underwater. And then next thing you know, whew. out of the water, man. It felt like we went up in the air like 20 feet. I really felt the closest I've ever felt to a swordfish. All right, you all ready right, for it? Right. Yeah. Okay, you think you got this? I think I got all it. Right, let's do it. 
So there's a few critical safety factors that we have to go over, making sure the canopies are latched, making sure the pneumatics are pumped up. Um, you've really got to keep a, a good idea of your surroundings. Fortunately, there weren't a lot of boats out on the lake today, so they had a pretty wide area, but there was a lot of logs and debris. There was a lot of potential things that could go wrong. So we covered all the safety stuff first. But beyond that, you've just got to drive it like you stole it. Like, you you do not drive the Sea Breacher gently. You just got to power it up, put on your big boy panties, and just go. Hey, you did good. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Really impressed. Yes. Dude, you're a fantastic instructor. BK. Yo, Charlie P. I'll tell you what, dude. So if I had to explain what it feels like to be in the sea breacher, it's kind of like going through a car wash at 60 miles an hour. My well, man Joey right here. Yeah. Come on, dude. Give me some. Heck yeah. Bob Give me bro. some. You did great, Charlie. Charlie. Yeah. Charlie. Dude, come on! Sea yeah. breaches! Sea breaches! We did it! We did it! Yeah! yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. So I've been driving sea breaches for over 20 years now, and I sort of take it for granted now, and I don't really think about it, but when you get a passenger in the back and you see their excitement, it, it really gets me invigorated and reminds me that, like, whoa, what the hell, I'm actually flying underwater. What I love about the Sea Breacher is I'm always learning something a little bit new about it, and that's what keeps it exciting for me. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! That's how we do it on Crank It Up Garage! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah! Big Jenny, Crank It Up Garage! Kenny and Charlie and the whole crew from Crank It Up Garage were just so, like, excited and, like, genuinely excited, not like, you know, they're not just coming out of their trailer to do stuff. They, they really seemed to enjoy it. The crew was super pumped. It was a really fun day. I, I really enjoyed having you guys here. So, yeah, you, you might actually get invited back when, when I got another toy to reveal. So I want to thank Rob for giving me my favorite moment of the season so far in this sea breacher. When we rolled and I was looking straight up at the sky and there was water also above me. Yeah, I'm speechless because it was insane. I'm very thankful for the, the over two decades that Rob and his crew here have spent in developing and refining this vehicle. And I'm super excited uh, to see the next inventions that Rob and, and team are gonna bring here into the um, aquatic world uh, in in a space productions here in Redding, California. Brother Rob, Charlie and I have had an absolute fantastic time here with you today, man. Thank you so much for the hospitality, the fun, the education, the good times, man. Thank you both oh, for man. coming. Thank you guys you. are an absolute blast. I think I gotta say, most favorite crew ever. What We've got day. a couple guests for you. Whoa! Boys, oh. Bring them over. All right, all right, all right, all right. No. We got you a crank you it up. You did not. Wall hanging Shot guitar. The... No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No yeah, way yeah. you did not yeah. just get and me. And we out. got you some shop what? snacks for everyone, man. Here's some premium Virginia peanuts from my home state. Wow. Virginia says, Virginia's for lovers. Believe this. Yeah. Wow. We'd like to ask our director, oh. filmographer, brother Leif Scotland from the heartland to step in here and get the crank it up family portrait. Are you ready? Come on. Yeah, yeah. So you can get no, back in. Are you okay with him going back up? No. That's a bad idea. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> if you want him to come back, yeah. And we want we want you to go in there with him. I would think that's probably a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if he wants to stay dry. Yeah. 
Okay, you good? Yeah. Big Kenny and Charlie P here with Crank It Up Garage. And when we want snacks, we go with Tahoe Slush. Come on, Big. Get you some! Mm.